When great French author Honor de Balzac was young and struggling, he lived for many, many years in a cold and all by empty attic. There was no flame in his fireplace, no picture on his walls. However, on the walls he had written with piece of old coil, rosewood paneling, on another Venetian mirror, near the ceiling, golden leaf molding, besides the windows, embroidered draperies, and over the fireplace, painting of Raphael. Do you get the idea? But later in his life, he actually possessed even much more than he had ever dreamed or imagined. Each item was indeed on his walls. Balzac's words and sketches were a dream and a vision of what was possible. He later wrote that whenever he was tempted to give up writing, as his family advice and his friends asked him to do, he looked at those imaginary drawings and fought the temptation to quit. Temptation to give up was defeated by the dream and vision of what was possible. For Balzac, temptation was overcome by this dream and vision of possible, and he worked toward providing what was needed to reach his goals. Like Balzac, we often are tempted. Our temptation is to stay as we are and not to stretch or grow spiritually. Our temptation is to ignore the invitation to become what God dreams and envisions us to be. Our temptation is to limit our potential or to settle for less. Our spiritual growth and possibilities are beyond our imagination. And Lent is a season when we are all called to develop our prayer life, our spiritual lives to its full potential. It is the season when we are invited to pray so that we can discover God's vision and dream for us. It's a God's invitation for us is to grow as people who pray, who dream, who envision what is possible to provide or work towards those goals. We are many times tempted to settle for rest because we are humans. And we hear in today's gospel that Jesus, fully divine and yet fully human, was tempted like us. God, who wants to be so close to us, is tempted. But, as we know, Jesus shows us the way how to overcome temptations, how to overcome those times when we are tempted to settle for less. Jesus prays in the desert because he begins whenever he begins his ministry, to learn what God's dream and vision was for him. And Jesus was tempted in the desert to settle things as they were rather than to work for things as they would be. But the Jesus overcomes this temptation through his spiritual tools. And we can ask, what are those spiritual tools? And maybe we can use them in our life. So there are three of them. First, Jesus uh, prayed. Jesus learned to turn to his Father in heaven in every situation. Whatever happens, whatever was uh, 
is difficulty and challenge, Jesus turned to his father. Second, Jesus was a dreamer and visionary. Jesus learned to keep his dreams and his vision and his motivation force when he was tempted to settle for less. When we think about this beautiful dream and vision that Jesus has for us, we hear his dream, love one another, love your neighbor as yourself, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's a beautiful thing. And Jesus was also a provider. That's the third tool. Jesus worked tirelessly to make his dreams and vision a reality as he moved from village to village, from town to town, preaching the good news, working miracles, curing the sick, and training his disciples to be the faithful stewards. Jesus would ultimately give his very life through his suffering and death so that we one day may experience God providing for us eternal life and resurrection. And those spiritual tools are in beautiful way wrapped in our Lenten theme, which is about St. Joseph. And this weekend, we begin our Lenten theme. And Pope Francis had declared this year as uh, the time to devote ourselves uh, to St. Joseph. So our Lenten theme focuses on St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. He taught Jesus how to use the tools of the carpenter trade but also gave Jesus an example as he guided the Holy Family and how to use the spiritual tools of prayer to gain God's wisdom, dreaming to see God's uh, vision for our lives and the mission to provide for all in need. So during this uh, next weeks, we will look at how we may grow spiritually so that we can be people who pray, who dream, and pro provide in deeper ways. So, beginning today and for the last, uh, rest of the land, you'll be also receiving the prayer practices. And this will be sent to you via email, so sign up for our flock note. And uh, also, it's available on our website. And this will be uh, practice prayers with Jesus and through the intercession of St. Joseph to help us to focus on how can we be prayers, dreamers, and providers. And those prayers practices are at the heart of this parish Lenten retreat. So even if you are not physically here uh, in the church, you will be able to follow them because all of them will be recorded and uh, available online. And another very important thing, how we pray at home opens the door to our richer spiritual life and pr uh, prayer life. So I think those, those prayers will be a very, very um, important ones. Uh, as you see, we are using the special art for this theme. And uh, though the author is unknown, uh, is the painting of St. Joseph. And look at this banner showing St. Joseph and the Holy Family. And you can also notice the prayerful and gentle expression of St. Joseph's face. Perhaps he's even wondering what it become of this child as he grows under his care. And what father and mother has not prayed to be all that God dreams and wishes for him or her 
to be so that he or she may give a child the best in all ways. And you may also notice uh, Jesus' strong arm. It seems like he's almost blessing the child, Jesus. Uh, the care he, he's showing. And these arms, these hands of a master craftsman, not only in wood and stone, but also in spiritual matters. And we can recognize in Joseph a provider because he is taking care of Jesus so that Mary can sleep. The simple domestic scene is filled with endless possibilities um, for reflection and prayer. You all, uh, I hope, received already the beautiful postcard with this art. And in the back of the church, there are additional cards. So you don't have to fight during this land who will have the card. So everybody will have one. Um, you can take as many as you wish. Uh, I'm prepared, even if the whole way will have them, I'm ready, we have them. Uh, they are available in the back of the church. So if you are uh, with us online, during the week the church is open from 8 uh, to around 2 p.m. So just swing by, take your card, and you know what I do usually uh, with these prayer practices, and especially with this one, uh, usually it's in the morning when there is still the, the quietness of the day. Uh, I will go take my coffee, and uh, then I will ask Alexa to play some nice, soft, instrumental music to calm me down. And then, looking at this beautiful picture of St. Joseph, it's the time to pray, to see and ask God about those three things. Um, and noticing the little parts of this card, of this painting, how Joseph was providing, providing, how he was praying, how he's dreaming about what God is uh, asking us to do. And that's an invitation for all of us. Not only one time prayer practice, but perhaps maybe during this week, we can truly immerse ourselves in those prayer practices which we, you will receive via email. Or uh, if you will get on the website, they are also there. In beautiful ways, spending some time with God in this reflection. This will help you to move forward. And in conclusion, we are all like Jesus, St. Joseph, and Balzac. Because we are tempted. That's a human thing. And we need God's dream and vision for us to help us overcome the temptation by learning to use our spiritual tools. And this land, we can aspire to be providers of good for others. So as we begin our Lenten journey, we dedicate ourselves to St. Joseph, prayer, dreamer, and provider. And at this moment, please join me in recitating our prayer to St. Joseph, and I invite you to do this every day. Dear St. Joseph, through your intercession, may this prayer gives me with serenity in mind and heart, so that my dream, a vision of God's desire for my life, faithful worker and provider, bless my mission to do Christ's work and to be love in action in every word and deed. Amen.